Hello, it's Alex Gray for the WPT and welcome back to WPT Deep Sack's European Championship in Deauville. Now, Deauville is actually the foremost destination in France for horses and racing. Now, I've been told there is a little bit of a crossover between poker and horse buying and selling. And we're at the Arcana Horse Complex where we're going to find out the reasons why. Come with me as we uncover. <laughs> about to happen so today is our breeze up sale what we call our breeze up sale the name comes from the fact that these horses have been asked to breeze so do a fast piece of work uh, yesterday on the race course and today they're going under the hammer being sold based on their genetics and their confirmation how beautiful they look so I'm with one of the vendors here, Con Marnin, who's come all the way from Ireland today specifically to sell. How many horses have you got here? Yes, we have nine, nine today. Nine horses nine. today. Yeah. We bought most of these horses back in Deauville, maybe in August or in October. We take them to Ireland, we break them, get them going, put plenty of muscle on them. These horses are almost ready to race. So we sell them here at Arcana, at the Breeze Up Sales, and hopefully some of them could be ready to run in three weeks' time. This horse in particular, the stallion, has really increased in value. His progeny are winning so many very good races. And if he's very, very good on the racetrack, he's worth a fortune for to be a, st a stallion afterwards. So we're hopeful that he might sell well. What do buyers look for when spending this amount of money? Buyers, for a start, look at the horse as an individual. The whole body of the horse, its balance, whether it appeals to them. You want to see the muscles, but you want them to have some margin because they haven't started their career yet. Yeah. Then you look at the legs a lot, obviously, because they are the, the wheels yes. in the Ferrari. <laughs> and good temper. I mean, temperament is very important. Well, our boy Frankie here definitely, I think, meets all the criteria. Yes, absolutely. And if I was a, if I was a horse buyer, Frankie will be coming home with me. Win you, Frankie. So we have the auctioneer on the rostrum taking the bids, and the bids can be very discreet. Sometimes it can be a glimpse or just a very small gesture. So it's very difficult to actually see who's bidding because buyers like to, to keep it discreet. And we also have some bid spotters who keep a close eye on who's bidding and shout to let the auctioneer know that there is a bid. Clients coming from that was that was a that was a bid, and we have clients from pretty much all over the world today. We had a horse going to an Irish client for 1.1 million earlier. You never know where the best horse is going to come from. Hence, the buyers are willing to take a punt and take a risk, even if it could end up being quite a lot of money spent on a not so good horse, but it could also turn out the other way and be, in hindsight, a small amount of money spent on a champion. How are we feeling? Frankie didn't meet the reserve. No, he didn't meet the reserve, but there's, there's interest on him already. People now have asked me questions, would I sell and I may, but it depends on what happens. Yeah. If they don't, we'll race, we'll race him. I think he's a very, very good colt. But we just got very lucky with the stallion. The stallion is doing very well. All right, so now you might be able to see that there is a little bit more of a crossover between poker and horse buying and selling than what initially may have met the eye. So if you're next in Deauville and you don't know what to do with your poker earnings, you now know where to come. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And for more information on the WPT Deep Stacks European Championship, just head to WPT.com. Sign up at clubwpt.com.